Alrighty people, how are we all doing? So uh, today we're going on a bit of a um, bike ride down to the old uh, Yarra River, do some fishing on the bike. So um, this will be an interesting night. Bike. Uh, the other one, got a thousand Ks on it, upgrade the ESC and all that other crap, I'll make a video on that. Uh, essentially, again, thousand watt, 48 volt motor, 26 inch. This one has disc brakes, front and rear. Do need to replace them. Actually got some oil on it, another story there. Uh, recently got myself a bait caster. A little fishing rod, I think it's a five foot eight rod or whatever it is. Umbrella, in case I get wet. A little display screen for the bike system. I made up this little box here. So I've got two of these 16 amp power batteries. Uh, they're 22 volt each, so 6S. 16 amp power from my testing i've got about 14 amps out of them but whatever uh up on the top of the box i do have this 12 volt socket but i put it in the wrong spot i need to move it like there um but i do have usb in here if i can flick out this cover for it usb's in there i've also got like a little shunt meter here just a digital display basically to tell it's going my batteries and then I'll show you that in a second. Let me just get this other Alrighty. battery. There we go, so we've got the other battery in. Uh, right, let's go ahead and plug it in. XT90, XT90. So these batteries are wired in series, just going for an XT60. I've got the official Traxxas X-Max wire bridging the two together, so I've got maximum chance of this can catch you on fire. You would also have a good laugh if you know anything about RC cars. Come on, there we go, there's a good spark. Oh, no, I can't push that in one hand, if that is sad. Alright, so now that's all plugged in. See up here? Oh, can't really see that well. Uh, I've got numbers, battery voltage. This one just here. 53 point something. 53.2. It's not too accurate. I think it's a couple of millivolts higher. But whatever. Oh, I've got to do something about this plug. I've got to spin this plug around so I can actually open it. It opens on the wrong side. There we go. So as you can see, power there. It's coming up here. Press and hold the button for a while. And see that all lights up. So I've got my assist. I'll try and keep it out there. Next side, I've got 36Ks on the whole system. Got a little tiny bow speaker I picked up the other day, which um, clicks onto there. Actually, I've got another one I might throw on here as well. Just got a little strap on the back of here somewhere. Looks onto there. We'll go ahead and get the other one on there because why not? Alright, so it's safety gear. Got some gloves on. Got me a helmet on. And I've got this bright yellow jacket on. Um, I think we're ready to go. Just got to pair the speakers up to my phone and uh, get some tunes going. I've also got to close up the box. So we'll quickly do that here. So I can do it one handed. Always makes for a good video, doesn't it? Let's get in, in. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to force these high voltage connectors around. And close the box. So as for closing it, I've just got this little electric strap going up here. So there, nothing special. Not really satisfied with it, but oh, whatever. Make sure bike's going to work. Yep. Alright, sweet. I'll uh, meet you when I get so in typical fashion of Melbourne weather, it's decided to rain again. Now these panels should be looking like that, they now look like that. Awesome! So, we'll wait for this bird to pass and uh, we'll keep going. See up on the left here some kangaroos. They heard me come, my two speakers come, they jumped away. There's one down there. Oh, they're just staring at me wondering what the hell's that. Don't blame them. Alright, we've got about another five minutes running with this stuff to the hill over there. We're gonna go up over that. Yay. Bump up the gear here. Just change hands. Get up on the throttle. Let's go. I don't know how accurate that speed is. But, uh, whatever. This little sketch here is one-handed. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's a big bum, hey. 
I'm kind of hoping there's no one around here today because the weather kind of looks like that's the case. Yesterday I came up here and I passed about 100 people, I reckon. Some good wildlife around here. There's one over here, here we go. Oh, I love this electric motor. So much better than a rear. Uh, than a front motor. It gets traction when you try and go up hills. In this kind of situation, trying to go up these pits. That's another bloody kangaroo. Uh, yeah, trying to get traction going up hills with a front driven motor. Don't work too well, you know. Ah, oh, this is quite pleasant. Did I give us a bottle? Okay, so where it goes downhill, so I'm gonna have to put the camera away for this and use both my brakes here. It gets kind of sketchy. I'll pull you out when I'm at the spot. Alrighty, so two little boat speakers up there sound great. Apparently, I did 9.4k to get here, so uh, we're probably a five minute stop. Oh, shall I stop Strava? Don't I? Stop. Finish. Uh. Yes, yeah, so that's not going to be a true accurate uh, thing. I um, rode probably about 2Ks without it on. I'll uh, try and do it properly when I go home. Average speed, 21Ks. Probably because I spent probably 2 or 3 minutes here. Time, say 20 minutes, not too bad. And that's the route I took. Yeah, save activity. And that was set under an e-bike. Right, well that's doing its thing. Put him away. So this is my fishing gear I've got. Uh, we'll start off with the rods. A um, telescopic rod here, no idea how long it is, long enough, pretty long though, uh, onto an egg beater, pretty sure this is just a Aldi cheapo thing but it spins nice so it's good enough for me. Bait caster, first time ever using one, uh, I've practiced a bit in the front yard, I think I've got the neck of it down but uh, it's a Shablamo, I think it's a 150hg if it's going to focus. Focus, there it is. Don't know what test I've got on it. I think it's 8 pound line or something. Oh, I've got spider wire stuff, wherever it is. Um, hopefully there's some fish over there. I'll show you where I'm fishing quickly. Oh, well, this kind of sucks. Yeah. Um, so I'll probably I have the bait caster standing on that rock just there flicking out the other line I've got some worms I brought with me I'll flip them out so I don't catch anything with that uh, essentially that's about it that's the bait and all that the tackle you've got your basic little kit here I've added some stuff to it uh, big thing of lures we'll go through that in a bit more detail later and some plastic bait no idea if they're going to work or not, I've probably spent half an hour throwing one of those out. Got some uh, extra line here, 25 pound. Got a Ryobi, because it was cheap from Bunnings, like 10 bucks, that's kind of an amazing torch. These aren't the worst things ever. Um, and a little thing with Wemmies. So, we'll go ahead and get the uh, telescopic rod all set up here. And get a real out. basic setup here. Just got a running sinker going down to my hook. I'll throw on the wormies on it and we'll give it a cast. Uh, beautiful. We'll go ahead and throw him in the water and see if we catch him. Just a little pink lure. No, no, it's probably not ideal. I have a uh, crook release on the uh, end of your, what's that thing called? Swimming thing. Lure. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll get us all set up and uh, give it a couple of chucks. Some people stuck on a rock over there, it's actually really funny. We're about two hours of fishing, we've finally got my first fish here. Just on a little lure here. Not a bad little size. Here he is. One fully extended and then one there. So we've got that and that. So I'll measure that when I get home, I'll tell you how big that is. Uh, yeah, there he is. He is, but uh, yeah, there you go.